And we are officially live, live from Southwest Ohio. It's a beautiful sunny day and the real estate market is freaking on fire. And uh, I'm joined by my man, Mr. Jeremy Johnson with Hello. T Realty. Welcome aboard, brother. How are you, man? I'm great, man. Thank you for having me again. Well, should I say, I, yeah, I should say welcome back, right? Welcome back. Man. Yes. It's good to have yeah, you. Absolutely. Back. And there's no better time to talk to you, I think, than right now. You know, I, I the market is really, really good here. In fact, it's so good, it's a little bad because we just don't have a lot of listings. But uh, what my man Jeremy Johnson understands is that, you know, uh, he who holdeth the listing uh, winneth the game. And, absolutely. Uh, and, and certainly you've you've taken a, a, a big turn in your business uh, over the last probably six months or so um, in understanding that. And what's really cool is we talked about at the team meeting today um, uh, how you've kind of shifted your business <laughs> from, from, you know, being more heavily weighted on the buyer side of the business. So we use a Commissions Inc. platform, right? And, and when you started into this business, um, your, buy, your buyer side business was really the heavier component of your business. And most of your sales were generated from the buyer side of your business. And about six months ago, you really made a big shift in your business now to where you're starting to really, it, it's it's maybe 50, 50, 60, 40. You're starting to, your, your, the, your business is a little, maybe heavier weighted on the listing side right now. So talk about that, man. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, um, <clears throat> we spoke about that at our meeting this morning. Um, in the beginning, um, we have so many resources um, to seek buyers, uh, ready to buy right now buyers. Um, so of course I had to focus on getting you know, getting a start. So I focused in on those platforms on Commissions Inc. Um, to to get buyers. Um, but, you know, turning into year three now, um, you know, my business is weighted heavy that it is um, buyers. Uh, I actually looked at it. Um, I'm I'm very heavy on the um, on the listing side. You, you said whoever listing wins awesome. the game. Um, you know, five of my listings are under contract right now. Um, another handful active on the market. Um, and then looking at my seller prospects versus my um, buyer prospects, I, it's definitely um, leaning towards the seller side, no doubt. Hello, Richard from Belize. Say hi to Richard, Jeremy. Hi, Richard. He's, he's, Thanks for he's, joining he's us. watching us from Belize right now, man. Hope you're doing well, brother. Ho ho hopefully you can get some uh, good nuggets out of this man. Yeah, that's so, awesome. You know, so when I think about like the reason why I really wanted to put this thing together is because that, you know, I know that while you and I are having success in this real estate market, that there are still some agents out there who are struggling, right? Even though the market is as good as it is, there are still some agents out there who just simply aren't hitting their goals. And they don't have the right direction. Um, they're not being given what they need. Uh, we've had agents come into our office right. before who work for other brokerages and they were on the verge of getting out of real estate because they thought that real estate was the way that it was because that's the way it was at their old brokerage. And what I mean by that is they got a license, they joined a brokerage, they got a phone and a desk and the broker just said, Hey buddy, it, great to have you, you know, go sell real estate, right? And, Absolutely. And, and that couldn't be further from the truth than what we're doing over here. And that's what my man Jeremy's going to dig into here, man. So you talked about, you've got what? You said you got five listings under contract right now? Yes. Five listings. This dude is second year full time. He's got five listings under contract. And I'm telling you, there are people in the business right now who have been in the business for you know, over maybe five, 10 years, don't have five listings under contract right now. So right. let, let's start, man. Um, let's let's talk just real briefly. And, and for those of you who didn't watch Jeremy's episode, um, Jeremy actually Jeremy actually made the transition from um, uh, corporate <coughs> America into real estate. And so that was the first hurdle Jeremy had to overcome. And Jeremy and I uh, met at the YMCA in, in Springboro, Ohio, and I talked Jeremy into getting his real estate license um, because I just knew he would be really good at it. And, and, and so Jeremy was a, Jeremy was a teacher. And so Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy didn't hate his job, but Jeremy just, Jeremy wanted something different. He knew he could do something more. And he, he knew that he thought real estate was the vehicle to help him get to where he wanted to go. And ultimately 
um, here we are, right? So what I want to talk about, man, is like your your journey, while it seems long, I think in 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 theory is really so what I want to talk about, what I really want to resonate with realtors, with agents, why have success in this industry with the right guidance, with the right attitude, with the right ambition. And so Jeremy, talk to me about like, how did you make that transition from, from just getting leads from the team to actually branching off and, and generating your own business and now tapping into your own sphere of influence. Right, absolutely. Um, so from the beginning, like I said, um, you know, the first handful of deals um, that I got were um, team generated business because um, I know I needed to start somewhere. Um, you know, but it's like I told I was talking to some of the um, newer agents in the office this morning. And I said, you have to start somewhere. You have to. You, you you start with a very little sphere of influence because people who already know, like, and trust you, they still, are they really going to trust you with the buying and selling of their house? Um, maybe not really just because, you know, you're their buddy, but you know nothing about the business. So you have to start and build a resume <coughs> somewhere. So you have to, I don't want to say take your lumps, but kind of take what's given to you and seek out those leads through Commissions Inc. Um, and earn people's, um, you know, not just the client, but people um, around you are seeing that your success yeah. and uh, going from there. You're building a resume, right? So what right. what I want you to specifically <laughs> talk about, man, which I really, I think is a really cool example. We talked about this this morning also, is that talk about, um, and I don't want to give too many details because I want you to tell the story. Talk about your first client, your first client ever in real estate that came from, well, it was your first client ever. Yeah, and it came ever. from, it came from Commissions Inc. Our our, our lead that, <laughs> but talk about that experience. Right. So the uh, my first ever client was a buyer, and um, you know I helped them get their first home under contract. He was also a first time buyer. Um, you know I kept in touch with them and even cultivated a friendship with these um, people, and. Um, you know, I would check in on them on anniversaries and birthdays and stuff like that. And it's genuine um, and not really talking to them about real estate, um, just just maintaining and cultivating that relationship. Well, out of the blue, two years later, they want to sell their house and upgrade and buy a bigger house. Um, so nurturing that relationship and nurturing that friendship and that trust and continue to uh, build that trust led me to more business with them. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm knocking it out of the park with them now. And that building that relationship and that trust is going to lead to further business someday down the road. Yeah. And um, as well as referrals um, to their friends. So, yeah. And, and so well, I, I hope like really this resonates with those of you who are watching this and, and who will watch this um, no matter where <laughs> you're at, whether you're in Belize like Richard or you're here in the United States or, um, you know, if you're in Europe, it's the same thing, man. It's it's that, you know, you need to to work in this business. Number one, you have to have, you, you got to have guidance and you got to have direction. You need somebody, if you're new, you need somebody, you need somebody coaching you and helping you not to make the mistakes, right? Because, you know, especially if you're, if, if you're in this industry and you're not getting, and you don't have any other source of income, you you need to make sure that you're not making the mistakes. Every decision you make is a critical decision. And so, you know, Jeremy started on the team, right? And, and so Jeremy is able to tap into the resources that we have. Jeremy has full-time contract management. Jeremy has a listing manager. Jeremy has marketing taken care of. Jeremy has lead generation. Jeremy understands the real estate industry is a business and he mm -hmm. runs his business like a business. It's not a hobby for him. Right. So... So what I what I want to what I want to talk about too is that you've had so many little success stories that started off that seemed insignificant. Uh, one of them, right? right? That was your first. Tell me these stories. It makes me giddy. Talk about your talk about your for sale by owner that was on Alex Bell right here by our office. How many times?
<laughs> Did we lose the internet? Yeah, yeah. we're back, baby. Ah! So uh, <laughs> hopefully all my all my people hung in there. Um, so talk about your out talk about your experience on Alex Bell, right? Your that was a for sale by owner that was probably mm. like I can look across the street right now, I can see that property, right? Yes. Uh, walk me through that whole experience and, and now what that's turned into. Man, months ago, um, you know, that road is right outside our office for those of you who don't know, um, don't know where it is. Um, so I drove past this. Sorry, Jeremy. Go ahead. Drove by this for sale by owner a few times and, um, you know, kind of battling myself. Do I need to call? Do I need to stop? And I'm like, okay, I will call. I will call. I will get the number next time. So I finally drove past, went past it. And I, I stopped my brakes. I said, no, you're going around and you're getting the number. And you're going to call right there. Well, uh, this guy, he's, uh, you know, I, I made contact with him. Um, you know, I got the appointment right away. I got an appointment um, that <laughs> that same week. Um, but, you know, we went over we went over th- everything. I said, I think I can sell your house. Um, he had some requests. Um, we worked through those. Um, and, but he just he he just didn't commit. He didn't commit to signing the contract, signing the agreement. Um I would say a few months went by, really. Um, the, I continued to see the for sale by owner sign out there. And then <laughs> even at one point, it was gone. And then, and when I call it back, I would continue to touch in with him just to see if there was anything I could do to help them or any questions that I could a- answer. Um, he finally called me. He called me one day um, une- unexpectedly and said, all right, I'm ready to do this. Um, so therefore, we did it. Um, signed the agreement, put the house on the market, um, you know, 37 showings on the property, um, 37 showings, a few offers and, uh, got it sold. He was very happy with it. Um, you know, myself and the team. Um, so after that, we closed that deal. He said, Jeremy, I, I own multiple properties. Um, so we're going to work on getting them all sold. I currently have two more properties of hit one of his, one of his sons on the market, and, um, you know, ones are under contract, um, one we're getting there. And, um, you know, after that, I, I believe we have a couple more properties. So it was a, it was a very good decision on my part to keep following up with this individual. And not only yeah. that, he's happy with me, um, from the business standpoint, you know, like I said, I'm cultivating a friendship with him and his family. Um, and it's genuine too. Um, you know, I, I care, you know, I've learned about his family. They're from the Philippines. And um, just his story, his journey to America. And, you know, he's a real estate investor. Um, just, you know, he knows he knows things about real estate investment. And I, he's, I enjoy talking with him. Um, I'm happy to be helping his son right now. Um, so, you know, just it, it's, it's about the relationship and that the way I handled myself in those early engagements led me to multiple multiple deals, multiple business, um, just because, um, I yeah. was willing so to what, what's really cool. And what I'm them. hearing you say is that you, so, and, and so from, so from you just stopping to collect a for sale by owner's number, um, uh, making yeah. the call, you will do potentially four to five, four to six real estate transactions from just pulling your car over and actually committing to make that call. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Folks, it works. <laughs> you, man, the, yeah. we're having, listen, this smart. I don't care. Like, if you're watching this and you're not selling a lot of real estate, like you are with the wrong group. Like, you need to plug into what we're doing here. We can show you how to sell real estate. Jeremy, right. Jeremy's been in, the, in Jeremy's been full time into real estate for less than twenty four months. The kid will go out and make a hundred grand this year. He's got five listings under contract. So like, if you're not making money in this market, something is wrong. What is your broker? What is your team leader giving you? If you're not having success, it must not be much, right? Right, absolutely. No, I mean, just when you talk about what um, this brokerage and what this team has to offer, um, you, I, I, will, I will say, um, you know, I, I don't always want to blow, you know, my toot my own horn, so to speak, because, I know I wouldn't be That's having you, this. We brought you on here to pick your own <laughs> horn, just so you know. If, you, if you're not going to do it, I'll do it for you. Well, listen, I I couldn't I couldn't handle the volume that I am handling 
without the support of our contract manager, Tangie Thomas, and Woo! our listing and our listing manager, Dennis. Um, they are outstanding. And um, what they do, they allow me, they give me back time um, to go and, you know, touch more clients and cultivate relationships with those clients rather than dealing with paperwork and um, dealing with the marketing. Dennis and Tanji, um, absolutely. I, it's, it's phenomenal what they do in a timely manner, um, because as we all know, um, getting the getting the place under contract or getting them an under agreement, that's just the beginning. You have so much more to go. Um, you have your inspections, your appraisals, and um, a lot of logistic stuff that goes in with that. And um, it just gives me so much more time. Um, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And, and you know, time is, <coughs> time is our most precious asset. And we understand as salespeople that most of us are not good at paperwork, right? We're just not. And the more time we spend on paperwork, the less time we spend in front of the people we should be spending time in front of which is buyers and sellers. So, you know, we've we've set this system right. up so that salespeople like Jeremy, good salespeople like Jeremy can come in and learn at a high level and and they can leverage they can leverage other administrative staff so that they don't have to do the non-dollar productive activities that they shouldn't be doing anyway, right? So, like for Absolutely. you man, um, you know, we're just getting started into into the month uh, of April. You are, excuse me, May. You had a solid April. We are. What is today? Today, today is April the sixth. Is that right? Yes, sir. How many deals do you have under yes. contract as of April the sixth? Right now, Jeremy. Six. Uh, as of right now, on April the sixth, I have um, three three deals under contract right now. Um, you know, I finished, I had, okay. I hit in May, um, April, um, four contracts. I was, I was really pulling for pulling for that six, but, um, you know, that it's, it's, it's just bled over into this month. Um, so six days into the month, three contracts, you know, I, I am hoping, um, to double that by the end. The so you're doing a deal every two days. Is that what you're telling me? Are you doing a deal every two days? Yes. Yeah. At this rate. Yeah. In the last two months, every two days I'm doing a deal. Um, I, when we get off here, I'm, um, I'm heading back in the truck and I'm going to go do another deal tonight. So <laughs> nice dude. I love it, man. It's infectious. You know what? And like having you in the team meetings is just so awesome. Everybody getting around you and cheering you on myself included. Um, like I'm rooting for you, man. Uh, you don't have to stop at a hundred thousand dollars. Who's to say you can't hit $150,000? I mean, you're fully capable of being able to do that. So while everybody else right. out in our marketplace right. is complaining and, and, and you know, they're, they're complaining about there not being enough listings or the market's too competitive or it's raining outside or there's <laughs> too many agents, right? You're not paying attention to any of that. Like your blinders are on, man, and you're yeah. focused on going out and grabbing mm -hmm. the business right now. And that's what all of you should be focused on. So like the great thing about you and is we've had some one on ones in this office right here where you come in and like you've had all these outside distractions and you have it's been like water off a duck's back for you, man. Like it, it's come in like you are a totally different human being than you were um, 12 months ago or 18 months ago. Like you are not the same person. Right. You you, you have these events in your life and while they do affect you you're able to compartmentalize those events and, and refocus on your work. And that's why you've been so productive right. this year. Man, you're just a humble guy. Right. And you know, you, you do what we tell you to do. Like you don't ask any questions. And what's great about that is, you know what? I did the same thing. It's not like we're inventing any of the material that, that we're talking to you about today. It's like, it's all been done before. Right. Absolutely, man. You know, you, you, we've had, you know, a lot of conversations right there in your office um, just about there's there's a lot of things going ar on around you, um, you know, you know, good or bad and different personal things that um, that bleed into your your energy. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, going through a lot of that right now, but it's just it's simply just about focusing on um on why you're doing what you're doing um 
you know, in just just kind of breaking everything up, not necessarily ignoring <laughs> your problems or yeah. whatever you have going on in your life. But I'm telling like you you can't let that stuff carry into your your business because it will bring you down. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this, people, whether you're in this business or not, surround yourself with people that tell you that you are good enough. You are going to make it. You are doing a good job, not telling you you aren't going to be successful at anything you do. If there's people in your life telling you that, you need new people. Boom. So, and, 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 and so, no – and and every since I made that decision, get just part from the things that are bringing you down. I my success has doubled and tripled. It just because the people that I am around, and um, it's it's it, it's life changing, really. Um, so and really like for I've always when I started in real estate, you know, my goals goals were here. And I've surpassed those goals. So I'm getting bigger goals. I'm not like I was thinking like, uh, you're kind of crushing your goals. So like I need bigger goals. We sat in our meeting. They're like, how many do you have? I'm like, well, I have four, but uh, I'm not really satisfied with that. I need six. And then I didn't get six. And I was like, Ugh. now this month I'm getting six. So you get your goals. I, I, I'm i not satisfied with that. Um, and when I got into real estate, it wasn't like I didn't have like a dollar amount. The amount of money that we're talking about today, I never thought I deserved. I never thought I was capable of because of limiting beliefs. And, <clears throat> you know, so you talked about a little bit about my job. I didn't hate. I loved it. But I loved it because I was touching people's lives. And when I left it, I, I was sad for a long time because I had the opportunity to touch so many lives. And now I'm finding that I have just as much opportunity to touch as many lives and to help those people. The reason why I'm successful with getting clients and keeping clients for and relationships, because I care about what they need and what they want. And I'm going to do everything I can to get them that. And so when I have that mentality that I'm working for these individuals, um, mm -hmm you know, the reward, you know, is, you know, is dollars and you're going to see those rewards. I'm not, I don't wake up and think about the dollars. I think about the client and how I can help them. And then the dollars are going to follow us. Yep. The money shows up as a byproduct, right? It's like right. money, money flows to value. And, and so when you have somebody like Jeremy who truly cares about their clients, <coughs> Jeremy's not worried about the money because he knows he can provide so much value that the money will show up. Hi, right. Ms. Lisa Taylor. We love you. Um, Eunice, uh, Eunice and, and Louis Abreu. Um, she says, what does your day look like, Jeremy? Give it, give, give Eunice, give you Eunice a quick rundown of your day. What does it look like? Uh, you, every day is changing. No, not every day is like based on you know, what's going on with appointments, but I will tell you this. Um, I start my day every day, no matter if it's at 4.30 a.m. or if it's at 7.30 a.m. Um, I start it with, um, you know, just some quiet time alone, um, you know, kind of planning out my day, um, exercising. I've been, you know, doing that for the better part of I don't know, six or seven years now. And that that's completely changed, helped me change how I approach everything. Just be, it, it just, one of my mentors, um, uh, actually a few of them in the health and fitness industry has said, you can't change your life until you change your physiology. And Love you, you change your physiology, which is, you know, how your body functions at your health, essentially, then it's going to bleed into your mind because your brain is your body. And um, that that has just that has just paid me back so well and um, changing my health. And um, it, it gives me the energy to go out there and get it every single day, because I tell you guys, sometimes I am up sun, sun up to sun down. Last night, I you know, I had a great day with my boys. I have two children 
And, um, you know, that's a huge part of my life. Business, business is great. And I, and I put a lot into it, but, um, you know, my children do come first and I will find the time to give that to them. So we had an amazing weekend, but I put them to bed and it was time to work because I had a time to work. And, um, you know, my client, we put their house under contract last night and that was at midnight. Well, I was up, you know, I, I, I didn't get up as early, but, you know, I was up, you know, ready to, ready to get it again. So, and, and, crazy, and, baby, I love and, it able to do that because I made the commitment to to my health that's given me the energy to just really push it um, but not but not that's not all I do I I, I have to give myself um, to my children you know every day as well yeah so. let me ask you this brother because like people are watching this right now and people are gonna watch this in the future and they're gonna resonate <laughs> You know, there's somebody out there who is just like you right now, but maybe, maybe, maybe they're not on the right team. Maybe they're not at the right brokerage. Maybe they just can't get the help and guidance that they need. Maybe they, they, they have ambition and they have drive. They just don't have the education, right? Right. So if somebody wants to plug into you directly and they mm -hmm. have questions, no matter that whether they're in Dayton or Cincinnati or Ohio or in any other state, or in any other part of the country, they just have questions for Jeremy. Like, how did you do it, man? How would you suggest they get a hold of you? Uh, how they can get a hold of me, um, you guys. I, I'll I'll leave comments in there. You can message me directly. Um, you know, so the best way from Facebook is a personal message. Um, you can find me on here in my business pages, Jeremy Johnson, um, EXP Realty. Um, but just anybody, and that has my cell phone number on there as well. And my email, all my contact information. It's not hard to find me. Um, just if you have, a, I I walked into this business with you, Mike, knowing nothing about selling real estate, but I also know about myself. If I put my mind into anything, I'm probably going to be successful at it, just because of that's who I am now. And um, I could walk into a new venture and be successful at it with the right people. Um, you know, so finding the right people is everything. Now, now, um, walking into my third year in real estate, I, I'm confident with just about every situation that could be thrown at me. And, um, just, just the knowledge and the, the instinct, um, for my clients. I mean, his, and I couldn't have learned all that thing with great people around me, like yourself, John, Tangie. Um, and just every, everyone else on the team. Man, I love it, dude. I love it. I knew you were going to drop some gold, man. And, and here's what I want you other brokers out there watching. You better be afraid. We are coming after your agents. We are delivering value at a high level. We will not stop. That's for sure. <laughs> and, and because what we're, what we're about here is we're about changing agents' lives. All right? We, we, because we know that if we change agents' lives, just like Jeremy said, the money will show up as a byproduct. We're not worried right. about the money. Right. We're worried about creating rock star freaking agents like Jeremy Johnson. We're going to yeah. do that. And Jeremy's going to keep doing it too. And yeah. guess what? We got a seat for you right here if you want to join our team. Right. Enjoy. Absolutely. Mike, what you said, like, I don't focus on the numbers, but um, I, in shiny stuff and stuff like that. But last, last night, ironically enough, I was sitting by, I was sitting by the lake with my, um, both of my boys and I, and, um, you know, my, my, my said, why daddy, you get a boat, you know? And I'm like, buddy, you know what? Because some of my greatest memories with my father were out on that water. And, um, you know, I don't seek after stuff, but, um, I looked at my son and I said, buddy, we're going to get a boat and we're going to make lifelong memories on the, on that boat. And I'm, I can say that. And I know I'm going to deliver to him because of the position that I am now. It, and I, that wouldn't have been the case, you know, a year ago or two years ago, um, because that was a stress, a major stressor for me. Um, because it is life changing. And um, I am going because of that life change, I'm going to be able to give uh, my son those memories that I was afraid I wasn't ever going to get to do. And so, I mean, it's 
Dude, that's, that's awesome, awesome, man. That's all. And you, you know what, Jeremy, man, you're a great father. Man. You're a great father. And I truly believe you will create that experience for your son, man. And uh, I am, I am, like I said, I'm humbled to have you on today. I'm so happy you're a part. Uh, I'm so happy to be a part of what you're doing, man. And just, just allowing me the opportunity <laughs> to, uh, to partner with you. Um, before we jump off here, you just ask one more question and, and then we'll, and then we'll, we'll go about our day. She wants to know, share $1 productive activity for a new agent. I'll let you take that one. Uh, $1 productive for a new agent. So a brand new agent, if, if so, if you, let's say hypothetically, you got your license last week. Um, the first, I remember my very first week, I was actually, I remember the day I got licensed, I was walking out of that building and I called you and I said, I did it. And, um, you know, what an amazing feeling that was very, the very next day, um, you guys had me set up on our commissions e platform. And I remember the very first lead I got, I remember that phone call, he answered it. Um, and I, it was, I was, it was awesome. I'm like, I got these people who are interested in houses. Look, they're looking at my website. It was so exciting. So the first dollar part productive activity you need to do for a brand new agent is get those <laughs> find the people who are going to help you provide those leads get a couple deals under your belt put it out there in the universe on your social media tell your friends and then and then the snowball effect yeah repeat you know do that get a couple deals from those from those buyer leads and then tell people about it you know i i told i said in this morning i don't like to brag on myself but sometimes you just have to show the world what you're doing, especially in this business. Um, so when you guys see my Facebook posts, um, you'll you'll actually read them very carefully. It never says me, mine, I did this. It's my team, my client gave me the opportunity to do this, and I helped them the best that they could be helped at a high level. Um, so I do it from it, just just a humble, uh, a truly humble heart because I know that this blessing in this business that's been given to me, yeah, I also know that it be. It, Yes, sir, man. You are wise beyond your years, my friend. And listen, we are very serious. No matter where you're at in the country, if you want to join us, if you want help growing your business, if you're not hitting your goals in the best real estate market we've seen, then you need to partner with us. Jeremy said you can message him directly on Facebook. You can message me directly on Facebook. My, 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 my email address is mike at loveohioliving.com. Email me, message me on Facebook. Let's jump on a call and talk about what it's going to take to get your business back on track. Absolutely. I know. And that's the same thing. I'll say mine is jeremy at loveohioliving.com. Um, you message, message me as well, guys. Um, Mike's been in this game a lot longer than me. Um, I'm walking into my third year. Um, so I might, I, I can share perspective from a newer newer agent but guys we're i mean it, it, you have a choice you know um and um we're definitely here to help we want to help well brother thank you so much man i really appreciate you and and uh certainly we will do this again i can assure you of that thank you thank you mike all right man thanks bye. for watching bye